All right, they're locked in. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Casey. I live in a little apartment in Jersey City with my boyfriend, Ryan. I post about a bunch of stuff. I post about home decor, lifestyle, um, advice, hair, makeup. That's what we're gonna get into today and I'm really excited. It is a beautiful day in Jersey City today. The sun is shining and it is also date night, which I am super excited about. Ryan and I have started this new thing in 2024, where it's literally been like eight days into 2024, um, where we're gonna do one date night a week and we rotate who plans the date night each week. So last week was Ryan's turn and this week is my turn. Um, I'm typically someone that plans everything like to a T, but I actually am trying to work on being a little more go with the flow. Um, so I think we're going to go to Barcade, which is by here. And for those of you, I know there's Barcades like everywhere, but if you haven't been, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a bar and also an arcade. So you can get a beer and also kind of like play uh, Miss Pac-Man and all that stuff. So it's a lot of fun. We've been talking about going back for a while. So I just think it'll be like a fun activity for us to do. And I can't say I typically go all in getting ready <laughs> for or an evening at the barcade, but I just feel like I was coming up on that time where I was like ready to just take an everything shower. I want to, I haven't like blown out my hair in a really long time. So it's just more for me. Like I just want to dive into this and I figured that I would share it with you guys. I always get lots of questions over on Instagram on my like hair routine for blow drying and all of that. I do use a Dyson air wrap, but I also use some rollers and all that. So we'll get into that. And then I'm also going to walk you guys through my like everything shower routine, some of my favorite favorites um, and then we might if we have time <laughs> do some makeup together too. So I just got out of the shower. I am in my little fruit robe um, and I'm, I feel very vulnerable right now. I feel like my for my videos most of the time I like have my makeup done and my hair done so this is like new for me but I'm really excited to share everything. So getting right into it let's do my favorites in my everything shower. So we'll start with the first product. I use this JVN it is a pre-wash scalp oil. So this is the first step. Um, and I put this on before I even get in the shower. It's a bit of a, it's like a little dropper. Um, and I basically just grab the dropper itself and I'll just drop in my roots some of the product. And then I kind of shake everything together, put it up in a clip and wait like 15 minutes before I get in the shower. Then once I'm in the shower, I have been using these Amica products. So they're signature shampoo and conditioner and this is their Norm Core line. I really love just like the packaging of it. I feel like it's just really pretty. I love orange. I love the pink and the orange. Honestly, most of my products are pink and orange for the shower. I have like very fine hair that tends to be like wavy, curly. Because it's fine, I can't put a lot of heavy products in it. Um, so I've tried like the Shea Moisture shampoo and conditioners before and those just really weigh down my hair. So I find that this makes my hair really shiny and it doesn't weigh it down. I also do the Amica Soul Food hair mask. I got all of this on Black Friday. They were having like a huge sale. So I decided to just try a bunch of their products and I'm liking them so far. Okay, and then I also use, I literally just ran to go and get it, this little um, like hair scrubber situation, scalp scrubber situation. Um, and you, it's really easy to hold and I kind of just really get in there. Like it really just gets into my scalp and it's also just a great massage. I got this one from TJ Maxx. Um, it was like everyone's stocking stuffer from me last Christmas and uh, rave reviews on it. Again, it's just really nice. And I think this was like $4.99 for a pack of two. So I highly recommend. Moving on to body washes. I have two current favorites. This one has been in the lineup for a really long time. This is the Method Beauty. I think this one had gone like viral on TikTok at some point. It's the Peony um, rose water and pink salt. This one just smells like home to me. Um, my old roommate, Marilyn introduced me to this and we used to share this like body wash, um, cause we shared a bathroom together. And so I don't know when I smell it, it just like, I don't know, it feels like home and I love it. This one is a new one that I tried and it is, um, way, and this is the St. Bart's scent. Um, this one they got me because I got like a Sephora. It was like a birthday gift or like a, 
I don't know, some type of sample that I tried of the mini body wash Ugh, and it smelled so good that I did end up purchasing the full size of it. This is another Black Friday purchase, um, but I do really like it so far. I'd say that it's a lot stronger. I'm not someone that likes really strong fragrances. So that's why I kind of go between the two. I don't use this one every day, but when I do, it just smells like a really nice, um, like, coconut scent kind of like i feel like i'm at a beach like in a beach hotel somewhere um and i love that especially in the middle of the winter i need my beach hotel <laughs> stuff okay for shaving i use this is my all-time favorite the honey mango moisturizing cream shave from trader joe's and i love this stuff i feel like the consistency of it is really you can like kind of see it on the bottle the consistency of it is just extremely creamy i've never used a shaving cream that's of that same consistency so it's really moisturizing like i feel like when i use other shaving creams when i come out of the shower my legs are like burning and i need to put cream on them immediately but with this one i feel like obviously i still put lotion when i get out of the shower but i feel like i i'm not like as urgently looking for lotion i feel really moisturized and the smell is really nice too then when i get out of the shower this is like only so on certain times i'll use this like baby razor um i am latina and so <laughs> i have i have the chin hairs i have the little like beard hairs i'll use that some days to just like get a little bit of the hairs gone and i like to do it when i get out of the shower because i feel like there's like the humidity and the pores and stuff so that's what i use and then right after that i'll put the summer fridays lotion on this is their cloud dew oil free gel cream i love like more gel consistencies um in my creams i don't really like uh super like heavy moisturizers so i've been loving that and then i also just put the summer fridays um lip butter balm on which i already have some on but why not apply more because i'm in love with the applicator for this one but i feel like the little pink sheen that it gives is so nice and that is everything that i do <laughs> in the shower and when i come out of the shower for the most part so like i said my hair is like damp right now i typically wear my hair um curly so i have some like curly hair products and i just let it air dry very like low maintenance with that stuff i if something is too high maintenance <laughs> i won't do it she says as we're getting ready to embark on this like <laughs> 20 step routine um anyways but what i do now is that i let my hair air dry to almost like 80 percent um i have a dyson air wrap which i will bring out i'll get into the details of that when i check in with you guys next but i feel like it works its best when your hair isn't sopping wet but when it's actually quite dry um like i said my hair gets really weighed down by products so i don't put any products in until i'm ready to blow dry so that they kind of like activate I don't even know if that's like real or makes sense, but <laughs> that's what I, that's what's in here. So that's what I do. I'm going to let my hair air dry. I tend to just like relax, hang around the house, do all that. Um, and then I come back and I'll check in with you guys for that step. Okay. I am back. My hair is mostly, um, air dried. I feel like a uh, princess diaries when we're like, take this and this and give you a princess. We are back with Miss Dyson. This is the Dyson Airwrap. Um, I have the like copper and blue color. I think I've had the Airwrap now for two, maybe three years. And I will say it is one of the best investments that I have done. I absolutely love this thing. I don't use it to its full potential. So most of the Airwrap videos and things that you've probably seen are using these two little guys which you connect up here you turn it on and then it usually like you know suctions your hair and rolls it up and stuff i find that with that my hair gets a little too like farrah faucet to be honest my favorite attachment on the dyson is this like rolly brush you can tell because she's really been through it just grip on it is really great and whenever i blow dry my hair like round brush my hair with the dyson i can immediately tell the difference it doesn't matter what other blow dryer i use on my hair my hair feels like brittle almost but when i use the dyson i can feel it just like softer i feel better about my hair i just enjoy the process more i love this thing and i got this when i used to like blow dry my hair multiple times a week i don't do that anymore i've like embraced the curly hair routine so i don't use it as often but when i first got it it like totally 
paid for itself the amount that I was using it. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I do the like blow dry routine. The first step is to change into something that's airy. I feel like if you blow dry your hair at home, you know that it is, I mean, there's hot air blowing everywhere. You're sweating, it's a whole process. So I'm wearing this really cute t-shirt. It's like a little pretzel cart. I love it so much. I got it at Uniqlo. Back to the hair. The first thing that we're gonna do is spray this Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Mist all over our hair. <laughs> um, and this thing is a game changer. It's an ultra lightweight thermal protect. So it's a heat protectant, but it also just adds a ton of shine to your hair. I put that everywhere. And then after that, this is the like secret, not really a secret, but it is the Kenra, same brand, Volume Mousse Extra Firm Hold. I broke the <laughs> I broke the lid off of this one, so it's kind of a <laughs> not that great of an effect. But anyways, put it into your roots. Really get in there. And this is if you're someone that likes volume, and I love volume. Now we're really getting into Mia Thermopolis territory. <laughs> we're going to section our hair. Perfect. I'm gonna go through and round brush um, the hair. I'll turn it on so you guys can hear what it sounds like for like the first part because it really is also one of the quietest blow dryers. It's not like the sound is contained instead of just like a really loud sound, you know? So who knows if you guys can hear me now, but we're really just trying to get the tension. Basically what I do is I grab the hair like this. You really wanna make sure you have tension. I roll it around and then I go all the way down and I just do that multiple times with a lot of pressure and then twirl it like this and toss it to the back. And I do that on my whole head of hair. So we've got a long way to go. <laughs> okay. We're done. <laughs> All right, so this is my favorite part where we flip our head forward. And then I kind of will just move everything into place. So this is how my hair comes out with just using the like rolly brush attachment that I was telling you guys about. For the purpose of this video, I'm just showing you guys a kind of all of the different steps. Do put like some hot rollers in my hair, which I'll show you guys how to do. And when I do the hot rollers, sometimes just for the sake of time, I'll actually use this Dyson attachment, which is supposed to help with frizz, like the little beads, but you can basically just brush through your hair. You don't have to do the like rolly. And I feel like it's just a lot easier because I'm just brushing through it. So I'll do that and then I'll do the hot rollers. Like I said, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna show you guys now how I do the hot rollers too. So let me go grab those. Okay, so these babies. This is where the volume comes in up here. See how my hair like falls kind of flat. I like to get volume up here and that is what these do. These are, I got these on Amazon. They're like Con Air um, and I think at the time that I bought them they were like $25. I think if you're going to invest in something for your hair, obviously I recommend the Dyson. I love my Dyson but if you're not in a place for that, I recommend spending the 25 bucks on these and using any blow dryer to just blow dry through your hair and then using these to add that like extra curl and volume. And I'm gonna plug these in so that I'll show you guys kind of the whole process of it. Um, I'm gonna let them heat up and then I'll come back when I'm putting them in my hair. Okay, I'm back. I lied. We're not gonna do the rollers yet. We're actually gonna do my makeup first because I feel like we're losing, we're losing daylight. And also it's kind of hard to do the makeup once the like rollers are on. I have this like spinning <laughs> um, makeup organizer. Um, it has a lot of stuff in it right now. I feel like I need it's overdue for like a, a clean out. But anyways, let's start on my makeup. So I'm going to start with the Summer Fridays shade drops. And this is just the sunscreen that they have. I really like it. I feel like it's very light. And oh, should take my glasses off. Um, it's very light and I also feel like it just kind of adds a little bit of like shimmer to my face. So I'm a fan. I don't have like a compact mirror. So I just have like a giant mirror <laughs> leaning up against the window here. 
So hopefully this works out. Next, I'm going in with the Merit Beauty. This is one of their like concealer sticks. Basically like an all around stick. You can use it for anything. So you can use it for foundation. You can use it as concealer. Um, I just really like it. Merit Beauty is also like clean beauty, which I can't say that I'm super conscious of, you know? This is one of their brushes too. I wish that I was better at that, but I think it's always nice when like I find a makeup brand that I like that's also clean. I find that this one is extremely buildable. I have pretty dry skin, so I will say that I, I definitely have to put like a moisturizer on before I put this on where it comes out a little patchy. Moved you guys up a little bit. Um, but I feel like as someone who doesn't love like very heavy or a lot of coverage this is perfect for me okay next we're going in with the rare beauty concealer i love the like applicator for this it's not really a concealer i think it's called an eye brightener again i don't like very like thick makeup products i like it to feel pretty light so i really love the feel of this and i think it gets the job done and i just go in with a like small beauty blender for this Okay, next we have the contour stick and this is from Westman Atelier in Biscuit. I really like that this contour is kind of like um, a cool toned contour. Um, I, like when I was younger, I feel like I always looked orange when <laughs> I would do my makeup. So I constantly have this fear of looking orange again. <laughs> so I really like the cool toned bronzers and contour sticks. And I'm just using the like Say Beauty brush to blend it in. The, this contour stick is definitely like very much on the pricey side, um, but so many people recommended it that I was like, let me try it. And I really do like it, but I also feel like there have to be other like dupes or different types of, of makeups that are similar to it but i do really like how it blends in and like i said i love like the cool tone of it okay moving on to brows this is probably my like most highly recommended product i feel like people just always compliment um my brows but it's the ultra fine detailing pin from kosas it's their brow pop nano i'll show you guys how small like the it's quite literally nano. Um, and what I do is that I brush my eyebrows down and then I fill in any of those like empty spaces. I have to get close, I can't really see, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, see how I like filled in all of the spots and then now I just brush them back up into place. I just feel like it's less obvious when you're filling in the underneath instead of like around the eyebrow, if that makes sense. And then I just have a clear brow gel from Milk. They sent me this and I actually really like it. I wanna get the like full size version of it. I feel like it just holds them, holds them in place. <laughs> okay, next is my favorite part, which is blush. I am a blush girl to my core. This is the Say Beauty in dreamy this one is extremely pigmented like honestly i would say even more than the rare beauty one like i get so nervous to put it on i'm just like oh tiny dot tiny dot and that's all we get and i'd say that i never wear the same blush like two days in a row, I'm constantly changing out which ones I wear. Okay, dare I say, we're gonna put a little bit more. We're gonna put a smidge more. The other fun thing about doing my makeup is that I don't, I wear glasses and I like take them off when I do my makeup and I don't put them back on until I'm done. So it's kind of like a surprise. I'm just like, ooh, like look how pretty we look. Next, I don't do this every day, but when I wanna add like a little bit more of like a sun-kissed look, I'll go in with this like hourglass. It's luminous bronze light, um, I guess is the color. It's like one of their bronzers. And I love this like really big tart uh, fluffy brush, but I'll just go and do like a smidge. Um, I use more of this in the summer because I feel like it looks more natural or like when I go home to Florida, I'll use it too. Okay, my legs are getting tired. The Shout out to the makeup girlies. This is hard. <laughs> like filming while you're doing your whole look, especially when you can't see. Next, we're gonna do mascara. We're going in with the Merit Beauty mascara. 
Um, I really love this. Okay, mascara is done. Next, we're gonna do my current lip combo, which I have been loving. I feel like a good lip combo goes so far. I was never a lip liner girl. I feel like I was just always really intimidated by lip liner, but I really like this one. This one is Makeup Forever in Wherever Walnut is the color. It's kind of just like a nudie, like kind of looks like your like regular lip color. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, there we go. So see, it's kind of just like, it's very natural looking. And then I go in with the Benetint. I love this stuff. I don't like the smell of it very much. It's like extremely rose scented. I have like, honestly, white lips. Like the base color of my lips is white. Um, so I really like lip tints that last a long time because I hate having to touch up. So I feel like I like that this stays on for a really long time. And it's also just very natural looking. And then the latest addition to my lip collection is the Tarte Beauty um, Lip Plump, Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. I got it in Poppy. Look at that color. It's so pretty. I love like coral tones. So I just absolutely love this. And look, I will show you. I love it. All right, and then I always save this one for last because it's my favorite. It's the Merit Beauty like highlighter stick. I love this. This is one of the best highlighter sticks that I've used. That's like pretty much my base makeup look. Let's see. Oh, there she is. <laughs> looking beautiful ready for the parquet um okay so now we're actually gonna do the rollers so let me heat those up and i'll come back okay i'm back i changed into my like date night shirt because i feel like once you have the rollers in it's hard to <laughs> to change and stuff and then i can just take them out and walk out the door i realized that i forgot maybe the most important step or my favorite step from the makeup routine which is this eyeshadow from urban decay i think it is it's called urban decay moon dust space cowboy is the color it is so beautiful I love anything sparkle so to me adding just like a little subtle bit of sparkle is so fun anytime I wear this I get complimented on it people ask me like where um where it's from I just feel like if you're gonna own one eyeshadow this is such a great one to have that matches with essentially every outfit it's just like a pop of fun the rollers let's get into it so they're heating up they're like hot down here I can't bring them because they're like plugged in but we are just going to do the same thing that we did before in terms of hair parting okay I did half my head and realized I wasn't recording <laughs> But I will show you guys on this side how to do it. You can be pretty messy with these. Grab a roller and I roll all of them under as such. And these come with these really like nifty clips that actually don't fall out. They keep things like pretty secure. So I really like those. And you just do that to your whole head of hair. This is when I feel like Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> They're locked in <laughs> and now for the like shortest layer like the bangs quote-unquote I roll them up and that adds a bunch of volume <laughs> and this is when I start to look like a little abuelita so I will hang around the house some more now a lot of hanging around the house during this process um, and kind of let them marinate you can leave them in as as long as you want obviously the longer you leave them in the more of a hold they're ha they'll have and the longer they'll last I typically leave them in until they're cooled like once I feel my whole head is like cold then I take them out so I'll be back okay I am back the rollers are cooled so we are heading into the final and my favorite part of the process so when I take the rollers out I undo the clip and this is imperative you roll as you go down so that you keep that flippiness very much a trust the process. Okay, last one in and last one out. Really shake it up. Look at that volume. 
this will last me like a few days. I don't have to do any touch-ups. I can just keep it like this for a few days. And it'll fall obviously like throughout the day and when you sleep on it and all that stuff. But the volume up top, like I feel like adding the mousse and the curlers just really brings everything together. And yeah, I just love having my hair like this. Okay, the lighting is gone, the daylight is gone, which means it is time for date night. I've got my outfit on. I went with a little like fun denim jacket moment. I just sprayed some of my vanilla perfume and we're gonna head out to dinner and go to Barcade, which I'm so excited to do. If you stuck around for this long for the entire get ready with me, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something to add to your everything shower routine or your hair routine or your makeup routine or anything like that. I don't typically do videos like this. This was something that was new for me, but I had so much fun and I'm trying to challenge myself with every video, like not only for people watching, but also for myself. So I had a really great time. Um, thanks so much. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure that you subscribe and I can't wait to see you in the next one.